Okay, so guys, look here. If um, yeah, if you're easily offended, don't watch this video. Yeah, it's pretty lost. <laughs> Just don't watch it. Um, we've got one of the boys from the Discord over. He's yeah, coming, he's got. He's over. If you're if you've been on the Discord, or if you have been kicked off the Discord. Wasn't it's probably by, been by, by him. him. Uh, he's uh, over sitting there living near us now. He's over for uni. And uh, we thought, what better than have him on, do a wee bit of voice acting first. So you know. this um, features Grand Wizard from and the Discord uh, as potatoes. Um, potatoes. Um, <laughs> but guys, this is really lovely. I'm uh, sorry. Okay, let's just get into the story, will we? Yeah. Be me. Working part-time job at local chip shop. Britflag. Small town and countryside. People come from miles for this chippy. Best one in the area. Busy Saturday night shift. Really sh the evening, but need that money. Png. Finish taking someone's order and look up at the door. Oh sh. Dot gif. Literal line of autists, tots, and dinies. Their carers thought it would be a nice Saturday treat. Busiest shift of the week. A crocodile line of thirteen tots approach the counter. Look at co-workers' eyebrows raised. First, Downey approaches the counter. Put on my most winning customer service smile. Good evening, sir. How may I help you? Posh British voice overload.mp3. Jippo! Screams toward A. Slams wallet against my till. Hundreds of pennies come spewing out. What? Whole shop is silent apart from the tots all lined up. Look pleadingly at their minders slash carers. They'll be paying with their pocket money. A perky, younger one pipes up. Oh god, .exe. Try to treat him like a human being. Even though he's a full potato duck. <laughs> oh, hell. What size chip would you like, sir? Small, medium, or large? Boss watching me carefully. Shit you not. Tord lifts his fucking shirt to reveal a huge extended stomach. Big chick po for tea. <laughs> What is this video? I, I don't know where this is going. Just got that. Begins slapping stomach like a bongo. Looks at his carers. They clearly don't give a shit and shrug. I look back at toe number one. <laughs> I don't know if this guy's going to I don't think he's. Say f it. Put him down for a large. Altis still rubbing his belly almost seductively. <laughs> Anything else? He turns almost in slow motion, opens drink fridge we have in the shop, throws out four rows, cans all over the floor, f***ing Hulk mode. Spent an hour stacking this fridge. Kid grabs one can from the floor and slams it on the counter. It's a Dr. Pepper. Kid starts screaming, Doctor! <laughs> Oh god. Oh my god. This is this, this, is, is, so this is actually tear bouncing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I put it through the till as quick as possible. Say the price to him and hope to god he just leaves. It's something like three pound fifty. Start thrusting coins over the counter. Not just thrusting, throwing. All copper coins. My face when he pays in two and one pen. Oh my god, two and one pays, don't. Oh. Hundreds of coins. Stashed in his wallet, bag, hat, jeans, and I sh you not, his shoes. Oh, not one of those types. Comes out smelling like off popcorn. Oh. You can say, please take pennies. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the coppers. <laughs> Tired carers act like this is normal. Spend five minutes getting him to pay the right amount. Look up. There's 12 of the hungry f*** gets to deal with. This job doesn't pay me enough. Kill me, dot web out. <laughs> Tom 2 is a superhuman creation. Full potato face, but like 6'4 tall. I'm 6'2, and this tardo made me feel small. He doesn't want Chippo. This monster wants... <laughs> the Tom has a thick Glasgow slash Tard hybrid accent. This is how he pronounces pies. <laughs> What type of pie would you like, sir? I say, kind of taken aback at this new super mutant Fallout 4 looking ass <laughs> Scottish <laughs> piss fetish monster fucked with the voice of Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> he deliberates. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but it's time for some self promo. So, over the past few months, more and more of our videos have been getting demonetized than usual. A few people have asked about setting up a Patreon, and it's not really our thing. We would much rather you check out some of our other sponsors or buy some of our models. But some people have still been asking for a Patreon, so why not? 
So the Patreon is nothing special and we're not offering anything but our general channel support. If you guys have any ideas you would like to see in rewards, definitely let us know down below. It really does help us make more videos our YouTube overlords would disapprove of. Also for you guys that dislike Patreon, because we know a lot of people can be iffy on them, we have a Kofi for one-off donations. We also just want to say a big thank you to anyone who does support the channel. If it's checking out the sponsors or buying the models, or even if you just sub to us and keep coming back for our videos. We really, really thank you. Let's get back to the video. Tard decides on steak and kidney pie. Little more sane than his partner in crime. Or so I thought. This one, he pays with a £50 note for a fucking £1.50 order. What? <laughs> he then turns to me and says, Are you Chippo Man? <laughs> Leans in real close. Where Chippo come from? In this hilarious fucking northern tar chipmunk voice. Resists the urge to say, potatoes like yourself. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Boss pissing himself laughing. The queue is literally up the street. It's taking me 15 minutes to deal with two of them. Busiest night all month. I'm officially Chippo Man. King of Tards. Every Tard now refers to me as Chippo Man. <laughs> Colleague pissing herself. Next kid slides up real smooth and says, Chippo Man, want sausage. Big sausage. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh my god, this is really bad, Megan. This is bad. This is actually really bad. <laughs> like, guys, we're really not trying to be... We're not to trying to like, be... Like, we just thought it was a fun story to do with the, one of the guys, so we're okay. This is really <laughs> Kerr intervenes. You don't like sausage, Davy, she says calmly. Tardrage.exe Sausage... No! <laughs> I calmly reply, just the one sausage, sir? Tard stops screaming, looks me dead in the eye and says, Five sausage. I, I don't like bad lady Chippo Man. I die a little inside, but send the order. The rest of the potatoes continue ordering. Some fag Tard was insisting I could do him, I could do him dog? What? Kept barking. Y you do dog? <laughs> Boss actually dies laughing in the back where only I can see him. <laughs> Queue of 30 or so customers now amassed behind tards, some impatient, some wishing they'd brought popcorn. One tard trips on his way to the counter, shocked on MP3. Are you okay? Yes, Chippo Man. Licks the fucking floor, just kind of stare in amazement at the potato lying on my floor trying to give it fellatio. Wishing I could fry all these potatoes into chips. Oh my god. Midget Tard approaches. Midget Tard is mute. He just points at what he wants. When I don't understand what he's pointing at, gets physically distressed. Jabbing at thin air. Pineapple fritters? Burger? Chicken? Curry sauce? Midget Tard, panicky with each wrong guess, mounts the counter. Oh fuck. Mounts the fucking counter. Waving and gesticulating at the food. Find out what he... Find out he wants mayonnaise. <laughs> All that fucking effort for mayo. Make mental note to disinfect counter. Tard takes bottle of mayo. Pays. Opens. Drinks it all like oh it was lemonade on a hot August day. All of my what? <laughs> <laughs> Get mole man midget potato off my counter. Look for his carers. The two of them are outside having a fag break. Left me in charge of potato herd. <laughs> Fuck my life.exe. The next tard I like to call Potato Bro. He's pretty chill, still a tard, but makes an effort. Tries his hardest, bless him. He apologizes for midget tard. I feel a little better about the tards. Have a plan. Lean in and quietly say, You can be a chippo man for a day if you keep your friends quiet. Hand him a chip scoop I have behind me. This was genius. Kids' eyes light up. Me, chippo? Sure thing. Christmas came early to Potato Bro. Looks around. He spanks Midget Tard with Scoop and tells him off. You rude to Chippo. Have to take Scoops off of him. Pretty worth it, to be honest. The Chippo train never stops. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the Tards are easy to deal with. Fly through next four orders. Tard 8 or something comes along. I don't give a fuck which number, just highlighting the exceptional Tards. He waddled. Leans on counter. 
Oh god, that smell. Smells of human feces. Turns out this kid has a... Turns out this kid has a nappy. And he'd messed it. Kid scratches arse oh, under trousers. No. Hands over the five pound needed for the transaction with his hand. I bet you can't fucking guess. Of course you can. There's some shit under his fingernails. <sighs> the stench is magnificent. Such close proximity. I look at my boss. My co-worker is in shock. I let him have food for free. <laughs> Nope.exe. <laughs> Kid waddled outside to smoking cares. Oh God, Jersey, not again. Audible through the glass. <laughs> Next few tards come through. Difficult, but manageable. One screams and spits at me when I tell him we've sold out of Savloy's. Slides slowly down my cheek. White face and continue. Impressing boss. Looking for a raise in salary. <laughs> I fucking hope he gets yeah, a raise. I'd like to think so. The second from last potato monster arrives. This is one twisted tard. Very deformed. Eyes not really in the right place. One practically on the forehead. No idea what he had. Looked like the thing from the goodies. <laughs> <laughs> He's Irish. Hey, you guys. <laughs> oh my God. This is really bad. This is bad. really bad. Think how Brad Pitt talks in Guy Ritchie's Snatch. Combined with tart speech. Combine it with looking like a deformed mess from the Goonies. Uh, if I run Chippo meant to waste of cream words. What does that say? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what the actual <laughs> Petito Bro actually understands horse jockey tart. Relays actual English to me. Once seven haddock. <laughs> LOL what? <laughs> Roll with it. Desperate to get them out now. It's been 30 minutes. Last tard, not last post. We got more boys and girls. Last newcomer is dull. If I wanted to kill myself, I'd climb to the number of his chromosomes and jump to his IQ. Nearing the point of wanting to now. He wants a portion of chicken nuggets. Seems normal. Then he says, Jupo man. I lean in to hear this magnificent beast of Allah's creation. Wrap each nugger alone, Jupo. <laughs> Twelve nuggets, each to be wrapped in paper, individually. It's like I'm being trolled or something. I try and argue and he says, Wrap a load, Jupo man! <laughs> Don't argue with tards. Tard pays and retreats. Five of my finest tards still waiting in the shop for food. Other customers gratefully run to till after a wait. Boss says to me, Move over to wrapping. You started this job. You're going to finish it. <laughs> Fuck. Now I'm purely assigned to sending out tard food. Potatoes for potatoes. Begin finalising the potato cannibalism. Neatly wrap it all. Even 12 nuggets individually. I take pride in it. I'm good at it. Neatly wrapped 7 haddock. Entire battered fish. 5 sausages. You know the drill. Hand them over one by one. Most thank Chippo Man. Small applause from the actual human beings in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That's when it kicks off. I need to stress this to you. Whilst you have no reason to trust me, Every single one of the events I portrayed happened. All I did was play with the wording to make it sound better. Carers come inside to collect tards. Jersey is still in tow, still stinking. Woman drops fag onto my floor and I lose it. Why don't you pick that up, you ignorant Ugandan scrotum tickler? <laughs> do your fucking job and let me do mine in peace. <laughs> fucking hell. Be honest with you, like, they always should be handling this a lot better. They should be. Like, be honest with you, the carers of the Gully Army. Yeah. Absolute dreadful show with this. Blame her and the other male care. Tard's not to blame for shitty carers putting them here. That's when it happens. Tards look around in shock as I berate their overlords. Applause and cheers from other Britons in the shop. Woman begins to babble excuses. You don't know how hard it is. Don't ease up. That's when it fucking happens. A whole fucking haddock is thrown at the man beside her by none other than our potato friend. Bewildered, I look around. Chippo, right? Screams Potato Bro. Oh god, what have I done? World War Z, Tard Edition is reenacted in my shop. Individually wrapped nuggets now used as Tard grenades. Sausage Bro unsheaths his mighty sausage and screams. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like sausage. Oh my god. <laughs> Takes a bite, 
spits it at her and uses it like a floppy sword. <laughs> Haddock comes out of fucking nowhere, battered and all, still hot from Friar, followed by another. He doesn't even care where he's aiming. Tards chant, chip o man. <laughs> I sit back in amazement and wonder. 6-4 Tard breaks down crying in a weak Scottish accent. Irish Tard babbling at nobody. People running from the shop. Walk the dinosaur. Police actually called and more Tard carers called. Another Tard storms into shop. It's getting insane. Not America so can't be physical. Chip o man can be heard all the way down the street. Three Roser cars turn up and a minibus with some more carers. Shop looks like a bomb went off. Batter everywhere. Paper everywhere. Tards being ta- ta- tactically extracted. <laughs> <laughs> Rolled out like potatoes. Only two original carers being taken in for questioning. My face went. Boss sends me home with 50 quid in cash on the spot. Not free fit, not free fitty. <laughs> Yeah, sorry guys about that. It's about love and points. But yeah. like, it was worth doing. Grant, what do you think? First time being on. Uh, it's very... Um, no, I don't <laughs> like... It. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can see why we got him to play the target voices anyway. <laughs> um, no, he's not a Bowie fella. But this is like the Make a Wish Foundation. So it's yeah. Almost, <laughs> yeah, basically at this basically point. Basically at this point. They're so, keeping me in this shed. Please send help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got ourselves a sweatshop. Grant's going to be doing the 3D printing models living in the shed. He's not actually, but like, you know, we like to talk to people. But like, that's, oh, what, that's what you say so the police won't come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, look, boys, hope you enjoyed that one. It's an older story, and I'm sure a lot of people probably have already yeah, heard it. Yeah, you've probably heard it. But, you know, um, but we've never done it before, so it was worth it. And this was the perfect opportunity to go easier. Yeah, so, <laughs> so. Um, why not? Um, look, sorry if you get really upset about it. It is a bit lofty in some places, but, like... But lighten the fuck up. It's fine. Sure, <laughs> it's I'm a sure. joke. Yeah, exactly. It's fine, yeah. You know, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, like, comment, subscribe, check out the advert, all that other good shit, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>